Yo, what's good everyone? It's DJ Cable and welcome along to another episode of Digging in the Creps where we link up with sneakerheads, raid their collection and present it for you on the internet. Today's episode, we're linking up with Debs. Now, a little bit about her. She's the offspring store manager. She's got a whole bunch of crazy heat from the 80s, the 90s and the early 2000s as well. And let's just say she's known for copping a bargain. So much so that one of the pairs of kicks, even I get emotional about. It's insane. Let's have a look. Thanks for letting us come in, first and foremost. Um, I know this is actually like a small percentage of your collection. I know a lot of it's obviously in storage and stuff, but I'm excited to see what you've got. Um, I've seen like a lot of boxes earlier on. I was kind of going through, reading, seeing you've got quite a lot of heat here, but um, how long have you been collecting for anyway? Right, first started in 1984. Wow. When I was 12 years old with my very first pair, which you'll see here. And it's basically gone on until today. But I have gone through periods of which I've started collecting and then mm -hmm. I went, no, no. Just stopped for a little bit because I couldn't afford it, and mm -hmm. then I've just got back into it like proper, like full on yeah. collecting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, um, let's get into the oldest pair that you got in the collection so okay. far. These are these ones here. These are not the exact pair. Right. Because in 1984, I was not a size eight. <laughs> <laughs> so these are very kindly donated to me. These oh, here wow. are what they call Puma Dallas. Mm -hmm. Um made by Puma in the 80s, and for some crazy reason, Puma haven't re-retroed them. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, so this pair was a donation, and these are from the actual 80s. Oh, wow. Which was absolutely amazing. I did not know I was going to get these. They just turned up at work. I just opened up the parcel, and it was just like, oh, my God, do you know what I mean? Absolutely wow. amazing, yeah. That's awesome. Like, for a shoe that was from the 80s, like, the quality is amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah, you wouldn't even thought it was actually... Yeah, that old. That old. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. But, yeah. So absolutely stoked to get these. I was given these about like two, three years ago when yeah. they just turned up. Yeah, okay. kindly donated from a guy from Ireland. Only thing that I got here, which is not in storage that I got OG, is these. These are the night sock darts. Okay. So those came out in 2004 um, when nobody wanted them, when nobody was interested in them. Yeah. I saw them on a Foot Patrol website and I just thought they were so unusual mm -hmm. that I wanted to get a pair. But like these that. are the ones from last year. As they were so hard to get, I originally wanted the fragment ones, yeah. but they were just far too hard to get. So lucky enough, I know a lot of people who are very kind to hook me up with uh -huh. shoes and help me get shoes. Yeah. Got the vaults. Dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are hard. Absolutely love them, but I am a little bit picky and I'm one of those people who was like, well, it's not like how it was before. It wasn't like when they first came out. Mm -hmm. So compare them to the OGs. Do, they're all right, they're all right. But the thing is with the OGs, it's just the fabric. You've got that nice, really thin fabric. Yep. And these ones are kind of like a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And I like the thin fabric, because I remember when I first got them, I was like a bit wary to wear them because I was like, well, how are they going to be comfortable? How are they going to support my feet? Because it's just like this little plastic strap that goes across. Yep. And then I got used to it and I started to love it. Because those feel a little bit, a bit more solid. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, I am happy to have them. Um, let's go to like something that's like obviously the other end of the scale. What's your most recent pickup? Recent pickup is these. Um, Stussy 95s. These are the only second pair of a Stussy Collab shoe that I have. Which are these ones here. Came out lot just came out late last year. There you go. Wow. You can have Thanks. a look at those. Came out late last year, came out in three colorways. Mm -hmm. Everybody went nuts for the olives, everybody went yeah. nuts for the blacks. Nope, I wanted that colorway. <laughs> that was the colorway I wanted from day one. Yeah, that's dope. So when you're kind of shopping for shoes, what do you normally go for? Is it, do you kind of gravitate more towards collabs or are you like a, mainly for GRs or quick strikes or is it just like a mixture of? It's a mixture of everything really, but see with me, I kind of like go for the shoe if I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people like, oh yeah, it's a great shoe, but oh, it's not a collab, so right. I won't touch it. You know, because like, I'm old, you know, and back in my day, there was no such thing as collabs and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? You bought a shoe because you like it. And I've still got that mentality today. Yeah. Like, so for those, mm -hmm. if they were in Foot Locker, I would have bought them. No problem at all. Dope. That's what's yeah. Up. I know there's one other pair that you said you got a story with. And I was looking through earlier and obviously I opened, I flipped the lid and I got so gassed that you've got a pair and I haven't. I wouldn't say I broke the internet as such, but I semi broke the internet right. as in this, not the whole internet. The internet is crooked tongues for them <laughs> with these. Right, explain the situation. I work for Offspring yeah. and um, been with them for 10 years. At the time I was working in the Camden store. I've been in the Camden store twice, but at this particular period I was working in the Camden store. These mm -hmm. were hidden in an electrical cupboard. 
downstairs in stockroom. What? They were hidden, right? Okay. So they were found. I saw what they were, but at the time I knew like, you know what I mean? They were like a nice pair of Air Max ones, but yeah. I didn't know like how much of a mm -hmm. hype there were at that yeah. time on those. So I saw those, took them upstairs. I checked them on the till. Mm -hmm. They scanned up as 50 quid. What? No, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. This is, this is where I semi broke the internet on Crooked Tongues comes in. Right, so they scanned them on the till. So this is 06. So they would have been hidden for like, what, two years? Uh, yeah, two yeah, years. So yeah, so they would have been hidden for two years. Scan them up. 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. At this particular time, the company had buy one, get one half price. So I buy a full price shoe and I get these at half price. What? So 25 pounds I paid for these. Oh, I feel so sick now. Oh my God. So you, can have, you can have a good look at this. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it. All right, for those of you who don't know why I'm gassing over the shoe, this is your Wara Air Max One. Okay, it came out in around May or June 2004. Basically modelled on the, uh, what is colourway from the Japanese soccer team. Highly limited. I spent the best part of an entire day running around West London, running around Central London, running around just everywhere trying to get a pair of these. I finally got a pair. I was so gassed, okay. I wore them out one night. You know, thinking I was a don, I was like, yeah, look at my shoes, all good. And then someone spilled red wine on them. Red wine, and this before the days of Jason Mark and Crep Protect and all of that stuff. And they were ruined. And I had to resort to wearing them as beaters and just wore them to raves and they just got trashed and then she fell apart and so on and so forth. And then I checked a few years later and realised how much they're worth. And obviously, you know, I'm amazed, you know, just that I've got these in my hand again. And also, I'm very jealous that, you know, they just paid £25 for them. So there you go. are kind of like special to me. Mm -hmm. I'll get them out. So these are women's 576 New Balance. Oh, both. Now with this colorway, I'll explain the situation. As I explained before that I joined several forums mm -hmm. and um, you know, I posted a lot on InStyle Shoes and Crooked Tongues. Lucky enough, back in 05, in August 05, mm -hmm. I was um, selected as one of the forum members to go to the New Balance factory in the Lake District. Ah, so nice. I have a factory tour and make my own shoe. Okay. And that's one of my shoes, that's what I made. And it was absolutely fantastic because it wasn't like, um, you know, you go on a website and you choose your colours, you yeah. know what I mean? Because we're there in the factory, we can actually just pick the fabrics, ah, like go out amazing. and like see all the fabrics, go, yeah, I have a bit of smesh on this and I have a bit of this level and I have a bit of that and I have yeah, a bit of yeah. embroidery on the back and I have my embroidery in yellow. It was absolutely, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, One some, of the greatest times. I mean, the materials as well, I mean, you got what, like, it's a 3M? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the end, you've got mesh, you've got like premium suede, you've got leather. Yeah, it's such a really nice combination mm. of materials and obviously, of course. Yeah, the ID on the back. No, that's dope. That's a really, really nice shoe, man. These was my one and only overnight camp out, and I'm glad I done it because I had so much. I was bare jokes. Basically, these are my second Stussy collaboration shoe. Yeah. Stussy nice. called Force. Yeah. In the purple. Wow. These are Adidas Jamaicas. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know exactly when they were last retroed out. Um, Mr. Robert Brooks, aka Brooksy, would probably tell you that. Because mm -hmm. when Adidas decided to make these, they actually took his original pair mm -hmm. to remake these retros. Oh, yeah, wow. so he would know exactly, but I would say sort of like late 70s, early 80s, mm -hmm. that these last came out. In the last few years, I've gone absolutely woven mad. Not necessarily foot skate mad, mm -hmm. but woven crazy. Okay. These are my favourite ones. There you go. Yeah, these are hard. Here we go. 06 release. Wow. Or was it 07? Can't remember, 06 or 07. Jeez, Bought man. those, TK Max in Bromley, 24.99. Wow. Remember the story on Crooked Tongues about the guy who found all those haze dunks? Yes, I remember uh, reading about that. Or Slough or something like that. And um, yeah, they're going for like 30 pounds or something mm -hmm. crazy like that. And um, yeah, you're going to TK Max now and it's obviously not the greatest spot. Sometimes I get lucky, but you know, it's obviously with a lot of the outlets, but um, yeah, compared to how TK, what TK Maxx was back in the day, mm. um, it's like a gold mine. This is so underrated shoe, mm. such an underrated shoe. Storm Beacons or Summer Beacons, I always get confused of which is which. Yeah. So underrated. These were in TK Maxx for £25. Wow. And this was back in 2008. Great fives. Oh, snap. 
Oh my god, sorry, I haven't taken them out of the box in ages. I want to just realise how yellow they've gone. Okay, these ones are from 06? 06? Yeah. yeah, these are the 06 release. You've got the classic air woven shoe. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, these are dope, man. Originally retailed for 114 £114.99. They went into the sale at 50 quid. Then um, head office allowed, I was in Camden at the time, allowed us to do a price point at £30. Jeez, I need to go actually need to shop with you, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they finally retro these in 2012 or 2011, I can't remember. Actually, what's the production date on these ones? So 2011 they were made, so they're probably 2012 that these came out. Yeah. So, yeah, so these came out and I was absolutely over the moon. Again, did not buy them myself. Again, got a hook up. Sick. Yeah. A guy that was going down, he was going to go down to Foot Patrol and he said, Devs, do you want a pair? And I said, yes, please. You know what I mean? I don't care what colour it is. I just need a pair of Airflows. And bless his heart, he got them for me. Yeah.